In this lesson, we'll see how to create smart notes to use in drawings. A smart note is a note that's parametrically linked to a property or a custom value contained in the SolidWorks part or assembly file. In this example, I'll show you how to add a smart note to a custom sheet format. That way the note appears each time you see that sheet format for a drawing. Take a look at the notes here in the corner. There are two types of notes here. The standard notes, which are nothing more than text, and the smart notes. Smart notes allow you to display information about a file instead of typing it in each time. For instance, here under Material, instead of typing in Steel, a smart note is used to display the material of the model contained in the drawing. If this was not a smart note, when I used a model made of plastic, I would have to manually edit this note to read plastic and not steel. In an earlier lesson, we covered how to create standard notes. Here I'll show you how to create a smart note. To get started, use the Note tool, just as you would with a standard note, and click the location of the note. Instead of typing in text, notice this button here. This allows you to link this note to a file property. Since we're linking to a file property, you can choose whether you want to link to the current file, which is the drawing file we are working on, or a model shown in a view. This would be a part or assembly that would eventually be displayed in this drawing. For this example, I'll use Current Document and select a property from the list. If you're not exactly sure what these properties are that you're linking to, let me show you really quickly. Let me switch over to this part file. To view the custom properties of the file, I'll go to File, Properties, and switch to the Custom tab. Here you can see all of the custom properties that have been added to this part if there are any. It's easy to add them if there aren't. Just type in a name for the property, or choose one of the common properties from the drop-down. Set the type. I'll leave it as text in this case. And for the value, you can either type in a value, or again use the drop-down to link the value to a SOLIDWORKS property, such as the material or the mass. I'll create a couple custom properties for the part number and material. Once I'm done, I'll click OK and save the part. Make sure to save the part or the custom properties won't be saved. You can make adjustments to the justification and font as needed, just like with a regular note. And when you're done, just click the green check. You can add a smart note to just a single drawing, or you can save them as a part of a custom sheet format. To save the notes as part of the sheet format, I'll go to the File drop-down menu and click Save Sheet Format. I have two options. I can overwrite the standard B landscape sheet format, or I can create a new custom sheet format and leave the original B landscape unchanged. I'll select the custom option to create a new one. The browse button allows me to pick a destination folder and give this sheet format a name. Now, I'll switch to a different drawing. I can edit the properties and change the sheet format to the custom sheet format with the smart notes added. In order to see the custom format in the list, you have to uncheck the box that says, Only show standard formats. I'll select the custom sheet format and click OK. And if the model contains the custom property that the notes are referencing, you'll see them show up automatically in the smart notes that were saved with the sheet format. This concludes the section on drawings in SOLIDWORKS. If you feel unclear on any of the sections presented, feel free to review any specific category from the menu.